Our first guest today is an unusual TAC Cup story because he was overlooked back in the day. And for all the kids watching today, it's a classic example of persistence because he's one of the best defenders of the last two decades. Uh, and he did it via the uh, system beyond TAC Cup. I speak of Dale Morris. There Good to go. see you, Dale, and welcome. Cheers, thank you. Congratulations on your return to, to action this year after your broken leg. And uh, we're going to get into your journey, but it's amazing to think that it, if you look at the TAC Cup system now, that you, you missed out on that opportunity, but still made a, an unbelievable career for yourself. Yeah, uh, I, when I was uh, younger, I was always led to believe that you you have to play cannons to to make it into the AFL, and um, obviously that's all that I knew. Um, and uh, you know, when I, I tried out a couple of times for the cannons and um, and didn't quite get there, and um, you know, had to find other avenues. And, and lucky for me, it, it all worked out. We, we've had a great career. Sorry, player to jump in. I'll, you had a real setback with a broken leg in your 30s. A lot of people question your future, whether you're going to come back in the new direction of the Bulldogs, but not only did you come back just the same player that you were, but you're going to continue into next year, which is fantastic. Yeah, uh, I, I had those same questions um, going through my mind uh, during the time uh, on the sidelines and not knowing whether I'd be able to get back to what I used to do and be able to run the way that I used to and just everything, all the complications that could be involved with a, a break that I had, um, I just didn't know what to expect and uh, lucky for me it, it all worked out and it was a lot of hard work and setbacks and, and all the rest of it but uh, I knew in myself that I could really get back and play footy. Well certainly looking from that vision you handled it a lot better than what Gary Lyon did, you know, the broken <laughs> league. Um, the young guns around the footy club now, you've got so many good young players coming through, that should be exciting for the new senior group to sort of just... Uh, I suppose mentor those boys along the way. Yeah, definitely. We've got a lot of young guys coming through, and starting in the back line, you've, we've got Talia, Johannesson, these guys coming through, and uh, you know through the midfield in Smith and McRae, and up forward Stringer and and Rovat, and these boys, they're they're doing some great things, and I think. Being young, young players, they're, they're full of talent. Um, it's what they do with that from here on out or their work rate and uh, just learning the game plan and the way we want to play will determine how good they're going to become. I think the one thing that's been loud and clear from the football club is that it's very much a teaching environment. And uh, from that point of view, I think you've got the right coach there in Brendan McCartney. Uh, heard him speak at the, uh, the Rising Star and I thought he was absolutely magnificent the way that he handled himself. And uh, it, it, to me, he just sort of seems such a level person and a good teacher. Yeah, week in, week out, win, lose or draw, he'll come in with the same uh, messages, the same uh, temperament, and he, he doesn't ebb and flow each week. And, and that's what it, it creates a great learning environment for all our young guys. And they're really absorbing everything that he says. And he used to be a teacher as well, so he's used to dealing with, uh, with young kids. And uh, he's uh, doing a great job at the footy club. And everyone's learning something new. We've got um, the old guys in Gia and Boydie and, and Griff that, you know, they're... They're learning some new things along with the young guys. Now, Dale, we'll go back to your journey. I'm fascinated by you're at the Duda Stars, you're 17, you're playing in the seniors there, and I think it was Simon Mitten Connell that actually uh, encouraged you to have a go at the next level. Tell us about that time in your life. Yeah, it was. It was great. It was a great start at, at Duda's. Um, Simon Mitten Connell came down, and it was my first year ever playing in the back line. I was always a midfield forward um, in my juniors, and... Uh, 17, playing in the seniors at Duda's. Mitten Connell came down, and I got... A, I, I got I was able to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, work with him and learnt so much playing against him. And, uh, and he got my foot in the door, so to speak, with, uh, with the Bulldogs and uh, tried out for the rookie spot and didn't quite make it. But the Bulldogs were, were good enough and, uh, and Terry was there and uh, he, uh, he said, go and play for Werribee where we can keep an eye on you. And, and that was the best thing that could have happened for As me. As a 17-year-old shifter, I mean, he was good enough to play, but we just parked him at uh, Werribee, just get a little bit of experience under his belt, and off he went from there. And that was a four-year journey, though, at Werribee. It was a surprise it took so long to actually get onto the list. You persevered magnificently. Yeah, and before that, I, like I said, I tried out a couple of times for, for the Cannons mm. and didn't make it both times. I, I understood there were guys that were... Uh, showed a bit more talent than I had and uh, and they went with them and um, to be shown another avenue to where, to your goal um, really helped my journey and um, and spent the four years at Werribee and Werribee were fantastic they provided the perfect stepping stone for me to uh, to further my um, football career and and I looked at it this way that my goal was to play AFL footy and if I didn't make it, I was going to get, have the best crack that I could, um, mm -hmm. just go every opportunity that, I, that was possible in front of me. And if I didn't make it, then I would be a, a better football player because of it. And I can go home and say, well, I gave it the best shot that I, that I could have.
Mm. With that, with that alignment now with Williamstown, do you still get an opportunity to to keep an eye on how Werribee are going with them in the prelim final this, um, today against Box Hill? Yeah, I've always got another eye on Werribee. They're, they're, I hold them close to my heart um, because of everything they provided for me. And um, without them, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. So I, I don't forget where I've come from. Um, and there's, uh, you know, I talk to guys from Werribee um, that still work there, and and I'll always have that connection. And um, you know, they're they're a great club. And like I said. They provided me the opportunity and with teams going along the, the ways of having their own VFL, AFL and VFL teams, there's going to be more and more opportunities for kids out there. So if they don't make it in the in the Cannons or the Jets or wherever they, they're trying out, the VFL is a perfect avenue if they want to pursue their goal. Yep, speaking about that, another, another Werribee player that's now dominating the AFL is, is Mick Barlow and a great initiative that, that Werribee have started with their development squad called the um, the Morris Barlow squad. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's for kids that don't make it into the the, uh, the TAC Cup and miss the squads and it gives them a taste of a semi-professional environment and uh, you know what what it would be like to play VFL footy and they come down, they experience, experience it and uh, get to see what it's like at a VFL, in the VFL system and it's a great experience for them though. They talk about, uh, you know, nutrition, um, uh, what it, training standards, uh, what it takes to, to actually play VFL footy and potentially AFL footy. So it's a great learning experience for them. I can understand how some blokes miss the system, but when you're the size of James Podsy Adley, how do you miss? Yeah, he's one of the best stories going around and to be trying and trying year after year. And I played with him at Werribee and even then I couldn't believe that he wasn't on a list. And uh, and then to get the opportunities that he's had, he's, he's done remarkable things. And you know, to play in a, a premiership and it's kind of, it's the feel good story and everyone's so happy for him that he was able to get that premiership. So he's done some great things and more to come. Yes, and Dale, uh, AFL Victoria is doing a great job giving other people opportunity today. We had a look uh, earlier at a Young Guns game down at Port, giving 40-odd players a chance to again to show their wares. All the clubs were there having a look. I had a look at the first quarter, and boys like Sandy Robinson, he's a boy from Port Ferry. He's 25 years of age, but he was super impressive in that half an hour or so I watched. So I suppose you'd have a pretty a clear message to boys like that. Yeah, it was great to see. I saw the lists uh, during the week, and... It's good to see from all walks of life, you've got local footy, you've got VFL guys, you, you know, guys from Strathmore in their EDFL footy league, so I saw the, that name up there and, you know, it's a great opportunity for them to actually showcase their talents um, and the advice for them is just to leave everything out there, just give it everything you've got and if you don't make it but you've given it everything you've got, then you're, you're a real winner. Well, Dale, we really appreciate yeah. you coming in today. It's your time off, uh, yeah. but uh, coming in here is great of you, and uh, you never go away empty-handed when you come on to Future Star. So we've got some fr uh, prizes for you. The uh, Bataki hams, salami and bacon, simply the best from Bataki. Around for four at the Kingston Lynx uh, Links in Roval, and then the Bulldogs men's skincare pack, the country racing Victoria marquee. Get a few of the boys together and uh, go along to the country races. Uh, a night for two at the Mighty Parkview Hotel in St Kilda Road. Uh, voucher to Soho Workshop, the uh, Spring Carnival right around the corner. And Tosca Travel Goods, Tosca Travellers, always first class. Uh, thank you very much, boys. Appreciate it. Well done, Dale. We love your story. Good luck next year. Dale Morris from the Bulldogs.